So before we get going, we can go ahead and wrap up one side quest, which I probably should have done last episode, but it's fine. Uh, but after turning in the Sacred Lotus, we can go back over to the couple here, and we'll come upon the end of this quest line. Go ahead and burn through the dialogue. And there it is, the four-star hairpin. What an amazing reward. Let's see. Is it is it anything good? Is it anything good? It is... Oh, man, it's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, man, not even a unique perk on it. Uh, but besides that, also make sure you go ahead and upgrade your armor. I forgot to mention it last time. Uh, in addition to having enough leather to get a weapon all the way up to plus nine, you should also have enough to get one piece of armor up to plus nine, which will also unlock an achievement. But either way, we have a couple different side missions on deck, so let's hit that travel button and get to it. Uh, the Assault of Wu Chao, Fearless Blade, and then of course let's make our armor shine. We're going to start with the Assault on Wu Chao. Now this is actually one of the more difficult side missions, uh, in my opinion. The, the start of it at least, it is very, very easy to just get absolutely overwhelmed. Like the, the first room, I don't know if there's another encounter that has as many enemies at the same time as the opening room of this mission. So I would actually, uh, I would recommend uh, pulling from reinforcements here, wherever you want. Trust in Jing. But we're gonna go up here, go up here, go up here. Some loot. And there's a couple guys that I'm gonna try and take out in advance. The first archer, second archer. Archers down. Now we have the Terracotta. I'm going to send Hong Jin to get that. And she's fighting. I'm going to come around on this side. Hello. I wanted to sneak up on him, but that's okay. Oh man, big hit there. Even just looking at the map, you can see how much stuff is, is in this room that we are up against. Where, like you go in without enemy detection, and then every time you run out of fire, there's just something else, something else, something else, something else. It's very overwhelming. It's not. One of those enemies dropping key crystals like that. Uh, either way, with the first room done, the rest of this gets a good bit easier. Let us die on the battlefield. So let's go ahead and hit you with. Two different assassins that are waiting here. Go ahead and get on Jing up. Sound sound is also. In the red, so top them off shortly. Assassin, assassin, big boy. Alright. Looking good. 
kill all of them, grab the loot, scroll my notes here, uh, Bigums and Assassins, now we're going to take a right, and this is going to lead us to a Warlock and some Spiders, as well as the singular marking flag of this level. See the hole in the floor has been filled up, so you don't need to worry about that. I can't believe I got through the blades okay. it really, It's my favorite uh, martial art. Get the marking flag. After you get that, you might as well just jump. Blow him up, and then I'd suggest going up into here. allow you to get a crit or blow that thing up with ice as well as blow up the baby now that we are back over here you kind of guess what we're going to do here So just circling back, uh, this is the room where we made our initial turn. So now we are taking on the other side. Hop up here, kill the warlock. That should we get you that. Go ahead and grab the battle flag, which probably isn't needed, but we have it regardless. Uh, and then we're going to take this path here, which is just going to have a bunch of little spiders. And a crystal. There's an essence. It's an essence. All I know is it's a dragon thing. In my note, I just wrote dragon. Okay, looking good. Unless she's already down. Let me grab that. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Take for the right for the warlock. I almost forgot. We have our friend right here. Shietsu. Let's see. Blue Halberds of Lady Howl. Let's go ahead and drop them. Got something good for me? Um, after the Shietsu. Let's see. Plunk and Shietsu. Got spiky boys out the doors. Kill all the zombies and the big guy. Busy flute. Is it good? It is okay. Point three damage dealt. Not really a giant fan of that. Uh, but so the zombies and a big guy. Oop, and then we're gonna hop up for a warlock. thingies. And it goes. Some more loot. There should be a warlock nearby. I wrote there was one of the notes at least. Um... Oh no, never mind. We loot up and then we leave and then we hop up for the warlock. There you are. And then after that, we are able to get the final battle fight here. And then we got two bigums outside waiting for us. Which who knows what that actually means. Anytime it's something big, I just... Ah, uh, it's a, it's a bigum. Probably the guys with the big red hands. I think that's what I've been calling Bring them big ums. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, there's no loot around here, sadly. Everything is just burning. Uh, so you can just run around. But you can let us get up there. There we go. Everything's a little easier. Very satisfying to this because they pushed me into a corner and they bullied me. They walked through crap. Oh no. 
That, that actually kind of blew me there, too. But you're too late. Oh, it actually juked. I said too late. Oh. Oh, you got it. I was coming in. I was going to be like... Yeah, that's, that's the uh, beauty of ice builds. Double, double bigums and they fall out nice and fast. On this land until he is satiated. No. There's no time left. We must recover Guandu. Post haste. So from here, go ahead and village, and then we'll jump into let's make our armor shine. Uh, for those curious, so at the point we're at stat-wise, you you can really begin, like honestly, I would just keep going up to, to 99 if you want, uh, but you could alternatively start leveling your, your backup stats, but just to show, so take the pair of swords for example, we're A plus water, we're A minus wood, and then we're Something C fire, you, you know, if I was to knock, knock this down to 60 and put all of that into wood, you can see the damage is going to be slightly lower, but I am picking up perks elsewhere. You know, I have, I have minus four damage, but in exchange for that, I'm gaining 73 extra health. Um, I'm losing some deflect, but I've already hit that stat cap long ago. You know, we're getting two points. I, I believe beyond 60, it's actually point one. Two, two, two. Let me see exactly where the one threshold is for this. So I think we go root down soft caps here. Uh, notes, notes, notes. So for spirit consumption rate, actually back at 46 is when it capped out. It's just 0.2 for the rest of it, which isn't a lot. Uh, but the point being, like, you know, we're, we're already doing solid damage. If you wanted to pull from wood buffs and do something like this, it's not going to be terrible. You know, we're losing 3.6% deflect. Uh, and in exchange for that, we're gaining a lot of earth defense. We're gaining a lot of spirit defense. Our spell duration is going to go up. We're going to lose a little bit of stealth. Uh, but, you know, just just do what, do whatever you're comfortable with. For, for me personally, I like, you know, my game plan is just going to be take it all the way up to 99. And then after that, I'll worry about everything else. Uh, but you, know, you don't have don't to do that. It's just what I'm doing. That. Anyway, on to the quest though. Wrong thing. Travel. Part six. Make our armor shine. Uh, now this mission is back to the waterland. So you you may want to switch. It's I don't know, it's debatable here. Because so there's gonna be mermaids and crocs. Obviously, water is not gonna be the best build in a case like this, but uh, I think we, we may be able to make it work anyway. Or alternatively, you know what? Let me just let me switch to I'll switch to the Earth build. Why not? Don't know how uh, what the stat difference is. We're gonna find out. Eh, that'll be fine. What we'll the Earth build? That way we're not dealing with the mermaids. Uh, so drop down. Go over here. Actually, respect the earth build a little bit so that I can put toxin on. And we'll come right up behind this guy with a little bit of a mess. Now, here, instead of going straight. I'm going to go this way. This is going to allow us to come up behind a lot of the enemies. Stop that. Go over there, pop that chest open. Notes. 
let's see. Boot inside, head out, kill dude on bridge, stay to the right, returning once you drop down. Once you cross over, you have to fight past the first boat. <laughs> oh, he tried to critical attack and he exploded. That's funny. Here, here, and then go on to this boat. Get you a couple of cordialities. Jump up and hit this. And then we will grab this. Kill that dude and grab the first marking flag. Y'all okay, gotta calm down. Alright, so we got that. Let's see, stay to the right, killing once you cross marking one. Uh, so we're gonna head out from here, drop down, cross. Before you go messing with the big boy, on over this way. This guy down. Him. I just hit block and I couldn't see him anymore. One shot that one. Go ahead and get marking flag number two right here. And then we're just going to work our way through this. Um, I wouldn't worry about killing him. We're going to plunge him in a second. I'll tell you what, man. The spear build, it, it is insane how much damage this pushes out into humans. really especially considering that you get the the Jiayun set as long as you're using them you can have this this is the, the earliest set you can get access to and it does incredibly well all the way up even at the, at the very end of the game you know, just shredding with it it's been a while since we've shown it I was curious very very simple, just damage dealt, spirit gain from normal attacks, damage received, and then health. And we have damage reduction upon wizardry, so we're just, just smacking stuff. And then we have damage amplification out of the course as well. Um, but, nope, okay. After we have killed the big boy, we want to actually uh, work our, well, I guess we can, we can go this way. We're gonna actually work our way over to the next part of the ship. Here for marking three. Right, sure. Oh, I do a kill big guy and proceed for marking three. Ahead is the mermaid and the croc. Right. So, uh, the croc is underwater. Best bet here is going to be to get the mermaid. Those crocodiles, they are the worst at times. That's okay. Oh, we got this, uh... 
Oh, that's right. I didn't get any, uh, anything good. Okay. Well, you're about to see how we run past all of this shit and get back to kill that. I thought there was a shortcut. Oh, yeah. There's only two battle flags. The, the sad thing is that that was the, the next battle flag. It was right there. We just had to kill the croc and we were safe. The only good thing is there's so much AoE when you're fighting one of those things. I don't think a lot of the other stuff will survive. We have to ramp into the fight. Make sure I can just run right on up and give it the business. Or just fall in the water and probably die here and permanently lose half my key. Look here. You're still alive and kicking. Despite the game's best attempts to kill me. We're gonna be able to just scrape on by. There's a. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Bro, y'all gotta stop. That was that was terrifying. God. Man, it's so uncomfortable. Fine beast, bitch. Hate those things. Anyway, him down. We now have our battle fight. We are wonderfully suited to continue going through this level. Uh, so from here, get the loot. I'm up those stairs. Well, ladder. Uh, let me see. Mermaid kill about run ahead for the boat shortcut and the dude in the chest. Okay. So we can actually go right for the boss right now, but obviously we don't want to just yet. There's still some marking flags that we need to get. You know, I bet if we actually had the, the 10 levels were short, I think we would have survived that first encounter with the croc. Assassin there. Arcing flag number four. Times you can dodge from. Go on up for the Shiatsu. Um, do, 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 what do I have that I can give you? There we go. You gave that to me. I'll take it back and give me something better. Come on, big money, big money. What do we got? Hairpin. Not usually a fan of hairpins, but it is. No bueno. Okay. Drop it down. Let me get that chest. So grateful for that singular jewel fright. I don't know what I'd do without it. Um, there it is. Alright, the bird is down. Uh, if you previously gave her the coppers, back here is the copper oh, lady. No sign. Um, how it be? Go ahead and give her coppers again. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna run into her in a another side mission that's coming up. So, this next encounter, we have a double mermaid. This is this is honestly the main reason I even pulled the earth out. out. Just trying to we're going to fight double mermaids in an enclosed environment. It's not fun. Grab 
like that. Takes care of our final flag there. Uh, for this next part, I would suggest that you run right past. Grab that. And just, yeah, do that. That's that's exactly what we wanted to do there. And there we go. Rest. Um, a mermaid, warlock, machine, and the boss. Okay. Uh, now that we are at the very end, we are going to swap back to our water set. Water. Probably doesn't matter, but go ahead and pop off that warlock for good measure. A little bit of luck, you'll be able to climb right up on top where he died. And we're gonna hit this guy. And that should be it. And with that, we are done with... Let's make our armor shine. We have one more side quest we need to do before we wrap up. And that is the one I've been dreading. The Fearless Blade. Enemy that I consider to be the most deadly. Let's see if I can... Take him out. It's just it's a jangly outfight. But, uh... As I've, or as I've already shown, uh... Ming Liao is you can't, you can't mess with him, man. He will he will mess you up. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm curious to see um Something. This is not it's not standard wood. i be curious to see how much damage I, I could actually that. pump into him with the wood build. Because in terms of humanoid battles, I do think this this works better overall. And if it doesn't, we'll go back to water. No harm, no foul. Zhang Liao, ready for battle. No one can stop my blade with ease. Is that it? Wow, that's it. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I don't, I don't know why, why he he whoops my build so hard.
Not today. Damn, bro. God, I hate that fight. So I ended up, I just edited it, but you that was, that was probably like six I or seven attempts. Were. I just, I'm impressed. I don't know what it is, man. And, and what's crazy to me is we did it in, I think like one with the lightning build, but with each, without we just, perhaps, yeah, man, for whatever reason, water build does not do that well. And it's not like water isn't weak to lightning in this game. I know that sounds, that, that those are, that's Pokemon type advantage. Earth is weak to lightning in this game. So, yeah, I don't know. But either way. Figure it out. Beat him. The skill check. It's a cool boss. Uh, and regardless, we are wrapping up. And the next episode is the decisive battle of Wandu. So stay tuned. And we'll see you then.